from you that as to what you believe is the story of St. Thomas. Uh, where did he come from? Why did he come to India? What was his belief? We really would like it in about three to five minutes. What you interpret is the story. Well, the, the story has to be pieced together from various kinds of sources. Mm -hmm. and, and not all of them are, uh, are, are, in, are synchronized. Mm -hmm. uh, properly, you have to start in the Gospels themselves with, with mm -hmm. the, who was the apostle, right. Thomas. He mm -hmm. was called Didymus, the twin. Mm -hmm. And as Roger has said, as, as Dr. Hedlund has said, he, he doubted first the resurrection. Mm -hmm. But the next source that we have here is the is the uh, work called the Acts of Thomas, which is a com combination. It's a kind of almost romance in a way, mm -hmm. and it's a combination of hard historical facts and a lot of fantasy as well. And yes. one has to sort between them and so forth. But mm -hmm. by that by that account, Thomas being from the same area as Jesus. Jesus, the gospels say was a carpenter, but the point is there is not much wood in that part of the world. Jesus was a builder. Thomas was a builder. They worked in wood and stone and other things. And a, a, a merchant was sent from the Punjab by a king by the name of Gondafaris, a Bactrian king. That doesn't come in the in the book itself, but we know that this king Gondafaris sent a merchant minister of his to Jesus to ask for this carpenter to come and build for him. What what induced him to do so, I do not know. But in any case, Jesus is reputed to have to have appointed Thomas to go and go with, in fact, in some tales, it says he was sold or made a servant of this merchant. And, mm -hmm. and therefore, there's this tale of his travels as he goes to, to India and eventually winds up on the shores there. And, and, and uh, the, the king greets him and he is given a, a fairly large amount of money. And the king says, I'm going away on a pilgrimage or I'm going away on a trip and I want you to build this palace. this palace. And as Thomas comes back um, to the people, he noticed that so many people are poor and in misery. And, and being a disciple of Jesus, his first task is to help the poor, to heal the sick, and, the, and the deal with all of this mis human misery. And in the process, he spends the fortune. Mm -hmm. and the king returns and says, where is my palace? Mm -hmm. And Thomas says to him, your palace, sir, has been built, but it has been built in heaven for you. Mm -hmm. At which the king gets very angry and has decided to execute Thomas. Mm -hmm. But the king's brother who has died comes to him in a dream that night and says, Thomas, I have found a palace up here in heaven for you, and, and so forth. That's the way the fantasy goes. I won't go into the detail much.